Hey guys, so for today's video I want to look at 5 things that I really love about the 2017 Dodge Charger Daytona RT model. Let me know if you agree or disagree and what else you would add. And make sure to stay tuned for a 5 things I hate video coming up as well. The first thing on my list would be the wheels, which are 20 by 9 inch Mopar lightweight forged aluminum finished in hyper black. These are currently only available standard on the Daytona RT and are an optional $995 add-on for the scat pack. I really like the design of these wheels, they really look good on the Charger, the Hyper Black color is killer, and it also works really well with the Torred color. The Dodge logo in the center cap finishes off the look. Most stock wheels that I see from other makes and models are pretty boring and basic, but with these you don't really need to get an upgrade because they look great right from the factory. Plus it's nice that Dodge is giving most models a specific set of wheels which can help differentiate your model from the other ones. So for example, the GT RT Daytona RT Scat Pack. Daytona 392, and SRTs all have their own unique designs for wheels. The second would be the active exhaust. Starting in 2017, Dodge put an all new electronically controlled 2.75 inch active performance exhaust system with 4 inch tips on every Hemi model, including this 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. The active exhaust works with electronic valves located near the rear of the vehicle that control the level of the exhaust noise. So when you're in idle or light throttle, the valves are closed to keep the sound down and reduce the drone, but when you put the pedal down, the valves open up and the exhaust gets a whole lot louder. I've said this in other videos, but I do think that the active exhaust on this 5.7 has got to be one of the best sounding stock exhausts out there. The third would be the distinct and unique heritage styling on the car. I like that Dodge is getting a bit creative and releasing new models like this that aren't at the top of the charts. Obviously there are Hellcats at the top that stand out as a Charger, but as you work your way up the list of other Charger models, most options are pretty similar. Bringing back the Daytona models in 2017 added some nice flair to the Charger lineup and allowed more people to have a special model. Not everyone can afford a Hellcat or SRT, but with more mid-level models like the Daytona, more consumers can truly feel like they have a unique version of the Dodge Charger, even if it's not at the top. You are getting awesome looking decals and exterior features on the grill, hood, roof, and spoiler that make the Daytona stand out from other Chargers, and I think this is awesome for car enthusiasts. It's also the first time we've seen the Daytona model since 2013, and before that 2009, so it's nice to have that back to pay homage to the legendary Dodge Charger Daytona from the past. Another thing I love is that the Dodge Charger is such a unique sedan with no other true competitors. There are no other muscle car sedans or anything quite like this in the large car market for between $35,000 to $40,000. Most other large sedans are all switching to smaller 4 and 6 cylinder engines and in this price range there are expensive Toyota and Kia sedans and base level luxury sedans from Audi or Mercedes. The Charger gives you a mix of everything for your money that you just can't find in the other cars. There's a big V8 sedan with a lot of power and performance, a mean menacing and beastly look, a respectable interior, and a thriving Mopar community to go along with that. The Daytona RT to me is like if you morph together a muscle car with a base luxury sedan. The last thing on my list is that at the end of the day, this is a practical car that you can use as a daily driver in all four seasons, year round, plus have some fun with it on the side. The gas mileage isn't awful, rated at 16 city and 25 highway, it's actually pretty good for a V8. The MDS feature on the highway will turn off 4 cylinders, so you end up getting better gas mileage than most older V6 models. It's also a large sedan with lots of room. The back seats are really spacious and so is the trunk. This would be a great road trip car, and you never have to worry about friends fitting inside the back seat. On the flip side, this is a quick car that also responds well to mods and would be fun on the track. The Mopar community, as I've said, is really great, and it's easy to find car meets or even make YouTube videos about your car since so many people are interested in them. There's also lots of aftermarket support, 
and tons of mods for the 5.7 Hemi, so you can end up customizing just about everything on the car if you wanted to. It's a rare breed that turns heads, but can also double as a family sedan. So that's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching, and make sure to let me know what else you guys like about this model. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Mopar content.